Hello, I'm Jeff Sochak, uh, Director of Research and Development for Felt Bicycles. So uh, part of the development process when we're designing a frame is not simply going from the CAD program right to tooling. You always want to have a, a second chance to make an improvement. So one of the ways we've been doing that for the last several years is by using 3D printing. Um, originally, we used our 3D printing primarily for wind tunnel development. So for an example, we would do a lot of CFD analysis, like on a bike like the IA. But you know that's not really quite as practical as we want to be. So we want to be able to take that analysis and verify it in the wind tunnel. So in a case like this, this is an early prototype of an IA frame. This is an SLA part that was printed of the IA. We can bring this to the wind tunnel. We can plug in different parts into it. We can print out different models and then verify what we were getting through the CFD program is what we're actually seeing in the wind tunnel. We can add clay, tweak things, then what we find out, we can go back and then again continue to modify the 3D model to optimize the aerodynamics. And that's kind of how we used it originally, by testing things like frames. We also did things like tubes, cross sections. So we'd go to the wind tunnel with these different airfoil shapes and we could compare one, two, or three, or four different airfoil shapes. Again, to help validate the software and to make sure that we are on track. But more recently, we've actually invested in our own printer. We have an FDM printer in our office now. And what really was cool about this is you basically have your 3D model in the computer and you basically hit print and we can start making parts. So for example, um, different components in different parts. This is a, a new flat mount caliper from Shimano. We're able to take their CAD files, hit print, make a caliper in 3D out of plastic, and we can use this to test fit to our frames that we're working on a year or two before they come to the market, and even before we can actually get physical samples from the manufacturers themselves. We can also do things like print complete rear triangles of a frame, a suspension bike, put actual tires into it to see how the tire clearance is, look at the chain ring clearances. So really 3D printing is a really versatile tool. We use it not only for wind tunnel testing to make the bikes faster, but we also use it for checking things, clearances to make sure that everything's optimized to function properly. Well, earlier we were showing you the 3D printer. Um, it's a great tool for actually printing out parts because it's very easy. Like I said, you hit print and it makes the parts out of plastic. But unfortunately, plastic isn't structural for a lot of applications. So when we're talking about suspension design, you actually have to prototype into aluminum. So if we're working on a new suspension bike, again, everything's done in 3D CAD. So we're able to take those models and actually very quickly prototype and make new ones. We have our own CNC machine in-house. It's only used for R&D purposes. So it's not a production machine. It's only here for the engineers to use. And in this case, you see something like this. This would be a top link for one of our compulsion bikes. And what's kind of cool about this is as we're developing the frame, you can't always get the real idea of how the bike can perform in the computer. So you want to go out and ride it. You want to be able to give this bike to our athletes and get their feedback. So with our CNC machine, it's really cool that we can actually go ahead and rapid prototype the parts, make sure they fit. Then we can come out here and build the parts on the CNC machine and prototype them. Give them to the riders, test the bike, give us feedback, tweak the 3D CAD models, and then go back and CNC machine a new link, maybe a little bit different pivot placement. And within a day or two, we can have them back on the bike with some new linkage and test riding the bike again. So the CNC machine is really cool in the fact that it helps us speed up our development process. We don't have to wait for outside contractors to make parts for us anymore, and we can make quick changes. That lets us make more iterations, which lets us dial the suspension in better. Again, we can use this for things like custom one-off stems for athletes, Olympic projects, really anything that requires a structural part, we can do this all in-house.